my dear child what ended last year needed to end so that something more important and worthy of you can begin this year maybe how things turn out or change last year was actually life's plan for you to take you somewhere better so you have to trust the journey you have to trust that even if things look a little uncertain and difficult here for a while so you are not going to lose your way or fall behind no matter what you have to go through along the way this year you are going to grow through everything at your own pace and time So my child know that a good life is not found randomly on one final day and when you feel motivated enough to move mountains for yourself a good life is when you can sit in peace with yourself without imagining the worst case scenario about yourself or your life A good life is when your mind is no longer standing against you. So when you can finally feel the luxury of your mind instead of trying to escape it through short-term pleasure or going back to toxic people. A good life is when you intentionally bring your attention back from what all the things could go wrong had gone wrong to how beautiful life can be thus a good life is not something you just find or create one day it is something you allow yourself to live every day by imagining the right things for yourself a good life is when you can fight against your own mind and make yourself believe that good things can and shall happen to you so it is when you sit down to intentionally think how you can make your life beautiful instead of losing yourself in overthinking and stressing so the real question is are you are brave and intentional enough to stop yourself from becoming your own enemy and shift your focus from wrath to best about yourself and your life so my child know that you may be holding back from expressing yourself out of fear of losing or upsetting someone around you so are you tired topping around others trying not to upset them or holding back your gifts talents and potential so you may be afraid of being judged or mistreated because you are different or even because you are following the call of your soul so you are growing and evolving at a rapid pace and because of this you may notice resistance to these changes from those in your immediate environment so you are reminded today that you cannot lose anything that was yours to begin with and this feeling of loss or being alone is an illusion so even if certain relationship situations partnerships or even jobs come to end it is not the end
इट इज़ द ओनली द बिगनिंग यू हैव कम टू अ बिट ऑफ स्टैंड स्टिल इन योर लाइफ एट दिस टाइम दिस इज बिकॉज अनटिल यू लेट गो एंड अलाउ थिंग्स टू शिफ्ट इन अ डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन थिंग्स कैन नॉट मूव फॉरवर्ड इट इज़ टाइम फॉर यू टू ऑनर योर सोल नीड टू एक्सप्रेस इट सेल्फ इफ नॉट यू मे फील एज इफ यू आर ड्रिफ्टिंग इन द वास्ट ओशियन विद नथिंग टू गाइड यू और स्टीर यू होम अलाउ द चेंजेस डेट आर हैपनिंग टू टेक प्लेस यू आर सेफ एंड सो इज एवरी वन इन्वॉल्व हैंड योर फीयर्स ओवर टू अ हायर पावर एंड आस्क योर सोल to guide you to your next destination so everything is as it should be allow it trust it and you will enter a new phase of your life where your self expression becomes your guiding light at your darkest hour so allow yourself the freedom to honor who you are and make no apolo Just for being true to yourself, even in the face of adversity. So, my child, know that age does not decide your growth. It is just a number. Just because someone is old does not mean they are wise. One must be open to change in order to grow. When a person is sad in their way. and never allow any change to happen in their deep rooted belief and mindset they will remain the same so age does not change you from within even the experiences that come to you so can't change if you are not open to change so doing the same things and repeating the same patterns is not wisdom it is ignorance ultimately it all comes down to change the one who sets aside their ego and accepts change wholeheartedly will always become wise and mature so let your mindset be like water be open minded and don't be so quick to prove yourself right those who embrace change may age physically but their openness keeps their heart young and energy vibrant so my child know that it is not over till it is done you did not come this far to only this far these words are a relying call to perseverance and continue growth so the journey is far from over and sometimes we just need to recognize how far we have come to give us inspiration to keep moving forward so think about the hurdles you have cleared and the progress you have made your journey is still unfolding but each step forward is an opportunity to grow and to realize even greater potential so let this be your motivation to keep striving to expand your horizons and to continue your path of personal growth so today is our day to enjoy god's favor so do you know he will even bless us even though we do not deserve it So if we place our faith in him God want us to enjoy ourselves and our life he wants to heal us everywhere we hurt he wants to heal us spiritually mentally emotionally physically financially and so today let us not close off any part of our life to his healing touch let's invite Jesus into every area and ask him to make us whole so living large dare to have a big faith big plan and big idea because god is able to do exquisitely 
abundantly above and beyond all that you can ever dare to hope ask or think so it is the time to start asking god to do greater things have a great expectations don't be afraid to ask god for big things so the truth is that you cannot ask for too much as long as your heart is right and you are willing to not only be blessed by god but also be a blessing everywhere you go the bible says god is searching for those in whom he can show himself strong and it can be you if you are willing to believe so you don't need a perfect performance to quality for god's best just love him with all your heart don't settle for less than the best life that you can have so my child no dad heed the voice of the child within it does not speak to you with words but the silent language of the heart Your inner child cannot lie it speaks with purity and truth see or feel how it smiles you are now ready to encounter beautiful moments on your soul path so you have become wiser and free and you celebrate and have a fun whenever you wish your inner child is delighted by your wildness and renew playfulness so put flowers in your hair have a fun with your inner child and grant him or her a wish in return you will receive a gift that this world cannot buy time so the inner child within you has the power to expand time it can take you to place where time passes more slowly play enjoy yourself rise above the absurd construct of time in which you live but which in truth has absolutely nothing to do with you hear the whispers that reach you gently and softly and live your life in play you are free of time my child no dad while you are evolving it does not necessarily mean those around you are evolving alongside those people might not like the new you and prefer the version of you that fit their needs and made room for their behaviors even if those behaviors were harmful to you so this is sad and here truth to reconcile with but sometimes choosing yourself means having to let go of someone else and to move forward you must let go of what is holding you back so my child no dad i hope you realize that nothing lasts forever not happiness and not pain I hope you realize that it is never too late to move on. So it is never too late to start over. It is never too late to admit that you were wasting your time on someone who did not value you and let them go. So for good forever and I know it's painful when you give so much of yourself to others and don't receive even half of the energy in return it is painful yes but it is not the end of the world it is not the end of your world i promise you that letting them go does not mark the end of your journey but the beginning because nothing lasts forever not happiness not pain and not the moment that you find yourself in 
even the person that you are today will change so you will grow with your experiences you will learn as the day turn into month and years and there will come a time where you would not even remember what it was like to care about those who hurt you you would not even remember what it was like to see their smile and hear their laughter you would not even remember what it was like to love them to be loved by them and you would not even remember the pain that they caused so because nothing lasts forever and i hope you realize that even this moment in time will pass too and it will pass too so my child know that maybe you can't see it yet but you can feel it you can sense it somewhere deep within you know something is happening that you can't quite see so energy that is working in your favor tiny synchronicities aligning in perfect timing a shift happening in the universe that you can feel deep down in your bones and you are thinking mind may still have doubts but your beating heart knows this is real what is meant for you is coming you are seen and you are being taken care of in ways you can't even imagine so you are exactly where you are supposed to be and right now your only job is to keep making space keep letting go of what no longer serves you the limiting beliefs the old stories the heavy baggage you have been carrying that is not mean to come with you into this next chapter so make space for what is mean for you make space for what is coming soon you will understand how everything that has happened has led you to this moment So soon you will see this whole universe is about to open up for you. So focus on the positive in every area of your life. Open your heart to reveal your inner truth will help you will manifest your dreams and the love back in your life. So no matter what the circumstances or your situation you have the power within you there is a healing about to happen and many times it can feel like we are being tested and you will pass the test when you believe in yourself obstacles and challenges happen to get you stronger when you believe in your dreams you are empowering yourself that you can do it express yourself and make the choices to be happy by open your heart and this will help you move towards your desired outcome and your dreams will come true So tap into the love in your heart and release yourself from the fear. You can do this. Reach for your goals. Your desire are within you reach. So my child, note that. How can you be more intentional with your choice and live with more purpose? So many of us are searching for the one thing that give us purpose and define us so the life purpose we think we were born for consider that life is the purpose to live your life more on purpose is the entire reward of your personal journey 
सो लेट गो ऑफ थिंकिंग योर पर्पज इज जस्ट वन थिंग ऑन वॉट यू डू एंड इम्प्रेस द फुल एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ योर सेल्फ विच इज योर पर्सनल एक्सपेंशन Perhaps you are putting extra pressure on yourself by trying to discover and define yourself and fit into a box. But the things you do are not who you are. They do not define you. If you feel called to step into a new career, relationship or experience, then follow this inner nudge and trust the bigger picture of your life. so staying connected to your true self will help you stay balanced and aligned with your value instead of focusing on what you should do allow yourself to do what you truly want so be unapologetic about your desire and live a life that feels good from the inside out make choices that align with your value and your true self will flourish so you have draw this message a reminder that your life is perfect as it is right in this moment and you are a perfect expression within your life as you dive deeper into living more intentionally all of your experiences became richer and more rewarding so you can stop second guessing yourself and step into your personal power by aligning with your intentions so my child know that fall in love with someone who chooses you someone who fights for what you have when difficulty hangs heavy in the air someone who insists that you are stronger together capable of beating the odds capable of turning even the messiest part of life into lesson instead of reasons to leave fall in love with someone who is your calm place in a chaotic world someone who builds your restless heart a safe space within their own fall in love with someone who loves you quietly someone who takes the time to remember how you like your coffee in the morning someone who just picks up on your energy because they have made the effort to dive into the depth of it fall in love with someone who pays attention someone who reaches for your hand and when you are having a nightmare someone who holds you a little tighter when the world try to soften you fall in love with someone who cares enough to fully truly see you fall in love with someone who inspire you to be a better person someone who shows you the gardens within your soul where you only ever used to see cemeteries fall in love with someone who makes you believe in your goodness someone who supports you who relentlessly encourages you mind and your talent every moment you question your purpose fall in love with someone who is proud of you but most importantly fall in love with someone who makes an effort that stretches far beyond poetic words or passive convenience fall in love with someone who genuinely fills your life with wonder and foundation and the kind of hope that spills out of you and into everything you do fall in love with someone who teaches you that love can be rediscovered remind remain 
ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू समथिंग डैट इज़ ऑनेस्ट एंड ग्रेशियस एंड सो फॉर यू डैट इट फील्स लाइक इट वॉज नीड इन टू योर एवरी सेल बिफोर यू इवन so meet them fall in love with someone who makes you want to be vulnerable someone who shows you that it is okay to have a faith in the heart of another that it is your to try for something so dear souls know that take a deep breath and center on the feeling of joy can you allow your sense to awaken and connect with your initiate desire to experience all life has to offer so pleasure is a part of life let yourself surrender to it today our modern times often present a false ideal of how we are meant to experience the world so connections are lost and distorted by our over reliance on technology just look around and see how few people actually maintain eye contact or engage in conversation instead of tapping away at a screen pause and consider how you can make more intimate contact connecting with nature enjoying the sensual pleasure sensation of taste touch small sight and sound may be important right now how do your sheets feel can you reach out and feel the hurt and softness of your companion animal nestle beside you be present to another person see them and let yourself be seen so your five senses are acting to be engaged right now this is an invitation to get out of your head and into your body you may be a spiritual and intelligent being but right now the emphasis should be on having a sensory experience so this is a sacred part of this gift of life by being present to the sensual world you invite an even deeper spiritual experience amazing is not it but hey it is really is time to stop and kiss the roses so my child know that Did you know that the word disciple occurs to 58 times in the New Testament and the word Christians in only found 3 times even in those cases to be a Christian means to be a disciple of Christ so biblically speaking to a Christian is to be a disciple of Jesus but today we sometimes try to get people to become Christian first and then maybe later we tell them about discipleship so the new testament is a book about discipleship by disciples and for disciples it is full of many wonderful promises from god for us but this blessing so with being a disciple of christ So love joy peace and all god's grace are natural by product of being devoted to follow and serve jesus christ so only we would let jesus ravish our heart if only we would see that the opportunity of our lives is to be jesus beloved disciple 
Right now, Christ is a resurrected and smiling at you and me, and his arms are open to us. So the glorious Lord Almighty is our friend, and he is ready to teach us how to follow his example of love. Our discipleship to Jesus is the best foundation for our identity, and it is the source of love, joy, peace, meaning, and power. So Jesus Christ is the master teacher he is the smartest person in him are hidden all treasures of wisdom and knowledge and that means he knows how to deal with your problems he knows how to make the best use of your opportunities and what incredible things we can learn from Jesus what a great strain he has to give us and if only we would became his students meaning our lives his classroom for teaching us learning from jesus the master changes everything we learn to do whatever we are doing from within god's kingdom of righteousness peace and joy so our life mission and all we do will naturally flow out from our life in christ we discover that in our daily life challenges and opportunities we really can relax and rejoice in jesus easy yoke so my child know that number and moses and elijah the priest took the gold of them even all brought out jewels and all the gold of the offering that they offer up to the lord so of the captains of 1000 and the captains of 100 was 16700 only 50 shekels for the man of war had taken spoil every man for himself and moses and elijah the Harpies took the gold of the captain of thousands and of hundreds. And brought it into the tabernacle of the congregation for a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord. IPS if you have faith and trust in God and if you want your all wishes come through time amen